Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new Wave Rider 25. Uh, it's really been consistently one of the most popular neutral shoes over the last 25 years. And this version, I think, is one of the biggest innovations during that time. Uh, the evolution of running shoe technology has progressed towards lighter, softer, and more flexible shoes, and the Wave Rider 25 has achieved all of these goals. While it is only marginally lighter than the Wave Rider 24, it has done this at the same time as beefing up the midsole softness by increasing the stack height and changing the midsole material. So uh, the midsole is uh, using Mizuno's uh, new foam material, Mizuno Energy, which is what they say is 17% softer and delivers 15% more energy return uh, while also increasing the durability. Uh, previously, it was only incorporated in the heel of the shoe, this little heel wedge, uh, but now it's actually uh, the full midsole has uh, Mizuno energy. Um, and it really does feel like it's, it's much softer. So when you put this shoe on, when you have a run with one foot of each, you can really tell it's significantly softer uh, with the new uh, Wave Rider 25. It has a more responsive sort of poppy feel as well. And that's actually helped by the wave plate. So it's using a new parallel wave plate technology, uh, which uh, if you actually look at the wave plate, it's, it's a little bit less, uh, like the size of it is a little bit less, and it's also a bit more flexible. And when you flex this shoe, you can really tell that it's, it's a lot more flexible. Uh, the wave plate sort of adds to the propulsion much more than trying to block the foot, which you had with the, um, the Rave Rider 25 is a bit more of a blocky feel. So, uh, you know, to run in the shoe, you can really tell the difference. Uh, the other thing which has changed, uh, and perhaps is the most striking feature of it, is this uh, outsole has this more astral sort of design to it. And a lot of the marketing is sort of uh, involving uh, that sort of space age type of uh, design. Um, the difference in the outsole, that's like if you look at the difference, it doesn't look very much different. But one thing which is significantly different is the thickness or the width of this groove compared to this groove. So it's the longitudinal axis groove. And you can see that it's a little bit narrowed. And that's really good for people that tend to pivot. If they pivot uh, as they go into propulsion, then they can end up getting a little worn pattern, uh, which is exacerbated a lot when you don't have any coverage of outsole material there. So I think this is going to be a little bit more durable and hold up better for people that do that pivoting and propulsion. Uh, the upper uh, doesn't look too much different, but it feels like it's a little bit more breathable and maybe can conform to the foot a little bit better as well. So uh, it does have this um, PU polyurethane print uh, execution that they put onto it, uh, whereas in this one here you can see it's sort of like a heat molded uh, piece that's been added to it. And, uh, you know, I think that sort of probably reduces the weight a little bit and makes it feel like more like a sock when you're wearing the shoe. Uh, the other thing which is uh, a big change in this is that they're using uh, sustainable eco materials. So the Wave Rider 25 features the, um, the bio-based wave plate, which is created, so the wave plate is created from castor beans, shoelaces made from recycled uh, bottles and uh, that includes also the, the lining has also been uh, using that sort of recyclable material. So it delivers a better performance with a reduced impact on the environment. Uh, so uh, really, I think, is a great uh, improvement in, in what uh, they've been able to offer. And uh, I would rate this as uh, four out of five for, um, uh, for a really improved shoe compared to what the Wave Rider 24 was. As I said, the Wave Rider 24 was a great shoe, but this is really uh, a big improvement on it. Uh, flexible neutral shoe, uh, certainly towards the soft end of the spectrum, uh, a lot further towards the flexible end of the spectrum, I think, than what the Wave Rider 24 was. It's uh, 275 grams in men's, 230 grams in women's. Uh, at the moment, it just comes in the B and D width, so just in the standard widths, but it will be coming in uh, in other widths in the future. Um, and uh, it's a 12 millimeter drop. So as I said before, the stack height has increased. 
So it's 36 millimeters in the heel and 24 in the forefoot. $220, uh, really a great shoe. You should try this on when you come into the shop next. Uh, similar shoes are Essex Cumulus, Brooks Ghost, New Dance 880, Hawker Rincon, and Sakoni Rive. So thank you, Mizuno, for bringing out a, a great new shoe. See you.